What up, what up, what up, what up? I appreciate y'all checking me out. <clears throat> We're going to do a little bit of a uh, live review. Seeing this little uh, scrolling across my YouTube. Are we going to run this? And do a little live reaction to it, man. Let's see what we got. Queens, but now we're going to move to Manhattan and Brooklyn, where the NBA is suddenly fantastic. The Nets have won six straight and hosted the Cleveland Warriors tonight. And the Knicks go for their ninth win in a row tonight at home in the garden against the Raptors. So which of these New York teams has earned your belief? One, both, or neither? I will get to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before they say that, before they say what they think, let me tell y'all what I think. I think the Knicks is fucking garbage. I, I mean, I don't, I don't really care. I just think the overall construct of the team is kind of, it's kind of garbage to me, man. I just don't really like the Knicks. I think, I think Jalen Brunson is a solid player, solid point guard anywhere in the league. I think outside of that, the rest of the team is suspect. Meaning R.J. Barrett is suspect. We know Julius Randle. Well, I mean, I don't even really know what this dude or who this dude is. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he the size of a power forward, but he got – maybe he should be playing the three, but he don't really quite got the skills to be playing the three. Like Julius Randle is not a threat to me. And if we looking at the overall, just the overall construct of the team, it's just kind of, it's no clear cut anything outside of Jalen Brunson. We know that Jalen Brunson is going to be a, a point guard, if nothing else. Like outside of that, the team is like, you know what I'm saying? I think they, I think they trash. All right. I just wanted to say that. I'm not even really going to speak too much on the Nets. That question in a second, second, but I want to be clear here here as a native New York, York, that the Brooklyn Brooklyn Nets Nets could win 82 82 games games in a row, row, and they would not matter. matter. So if you tell me they've won six in a row, no, no. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I think, uh, I don't know about that one. I think the East is kind of one of them wide open situations for real, for real. I don't think that include the Knicks, but I do think that the Nets could be like serious competitors. You know what I'm saying? I think maybe they could pull it all together. They have way more of a, a, a constructed team, a constructed team than the Knicks do. See the Knicks is really, they really based off Tom Thibodeau. You know what I'm saying? If any other coach was over there, that team probably wouldn't be. Right. So I for sure got more belief in the Nets than the Knicks. Nobody is paying attention. But if the New York York Knicks Knicks win three three in a row, row, because that never happened. happened. If they win three in a row, guys on the streets are saying, saying, you think think Randall's Randall's as good as as Reed? Reed? You think think Barrett's as good as Frazier? And if they've won eight in a row, there's apoplexy in the city because they think they're going to win championship. Remember, Mike, two championships all time. The last one is probably 50 years. Championship? <laughs> what he talking about? What he talking about? Championship? Am I? I'm, let me hold on. Hold on. Maybe I'm Miss Hardy. City, because they think they're going to win championship. Remember, like two championships all time, and the last one is probably fifty years. Nah. Ago. Yeah, they're starved for a championship. I believe in the Knicks to this extent. They're a better team team now than they've been in a while. while. They should be a playoff team, team, which for them is an accomplishment. accomplishment. Your boy boy Tom Tom Thibodeau Thibodeau did this this one thing thing that that this was told to me yesterday yesterday by Brian Windhorst. Windhorst. Then he he plays plays Emmanuel Emmanuel quickly quickly and Quinton Grimes. Grimes. I know you know that. I like Quinton. He plays about 22, 22 games a game, so they play defense. And as a result of their defense, the Knicks are third in field goals against, and fifth in teams against. They're better than they've been in a long. That's what Tim does, Tony. He brings defense. He did that as an assistant coach various places, including 2008 with Doc Rivers in that championship Celtics team as an assistant. Then he, then he that earned, earned him a job in Chicago, in Chicago where they got to the conference finals once and should have been in the second time. And they did it largely on defense, even though they had a spectacular young Derrick Rose. 
Let me give somebody else credit besides this. Who? Jalen Brunson. Oh, okay. The Dallas Mavericks. Maybe the Mavericks figure we can't keep him. He's going to go with his father is an assistant coach, and he's going to go to the Knicks. And I have talked to Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson is as self-made a player. First in Villanova, where he won. And then, and then in, the pros, in the pros versus, versus Dallas, Dallas and New, New York. As there's, as there's been, been in 25, 25 years, Jalen Brunson. Brunson. All right. All right. Jalen, Jalen Brunson's, Brunson's name, name if this continues, had, had better be mentioned, starting to at least, in the, the conversation, conversation for MVP. MVP. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. MVP? Who y'all got as an MVP candidate? Let me tell y'all my MVP candidates. Maybe in no particular order. A little bit, right? So to me, Giannis is always going to be like number one as far as an MVP. You know what I'm saying? That team over there, he literally, he, 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 the offense and the defense on that team, like not to take away from nobody else on that team. But when you look at it, and they're probably the oldest team in the league, the, the Milwaukee Bucks probably are the oldest team in the league. You know what I'm saying? So like, Take him off of that team, take his energy, his offense, his defense, his effort, his intensity, take him off of that team. And you don't have they we not even man, we're talking about a fighting for a, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about a, a probably a whole nother head coach over there. He didn't save Budenholzer job. I mean, he to me, Giannis is always gonna be like the number one MVP, all right. And like after that. Embiid's numbers is undeniable. Embiid is crazy, all right? Embiid, Embiid is night in, night out, the most dominant, healthy, the probably the most dominant player in the league, man. He do everything. We talking about another dude who maybe not top five, maybe, maybe not top five defensive player of the year candidate, but definitely a two-way guy, man. You know what I'm saying? He going to bring effort. He going to bring everything that he got night in and night out, man. Right? So I got him number two. I got like Jokic. Even though Jokic have zero defense for you, um, which I don't think that team will end up finishing like first in the, in the Western Conference. Even if they do, I don't see them having no type of playoff run, just being honest with you, because the game plan is simple. Jokic don't play no defense, can't play no defense. The rest of the team is kind of eh, average on defense. They don't really got it on defense over there. And uh, just keep just just keep Jokic out to the perimeter. Just make him shoot like three-pointers and shit like that. Do your best to keep him out of the perimeter. But even still, he still is a, his numbers are undeniable. He's a he's an MVP candidate. Um four, five, I don't really know. It just really don't matter because Jalen Brunson is not one of them. Jalen Brunson is not, I don't know what he's talking about. Wow. Spectacular? Okay. Not necessarily. I tell you what. You think Luka Doncic and his flirting with 500 self would like to have Jalen Brunson back? Because so I don't think I don't think it would have mattered. I don't think it would matter if, if Jalen Brunson was back over there with Dallas because Luka is still the offense. Luka is the offense, and the type of game that they plan with him is kind of like inside out. Kind of the same way Jokic do his thing, just not that beautiful. But it's pretty much the same thing. And Jalen Brunson is not a three-point shooter. You reduce him to a three-point shooter. Or Luka, who also is not a good three-point shooter, standing around the perimeter trying to make something happen, right? So I don't, I don't, you know, whatever. But Luka is an MVP candidate. Jalen Brunson is amazing he's what your point guard to be smart organized, i agree tough i agree the ball makes the big plays makes all those guys you mentioned grind barrett randall quickly makes them better i agree i wouldn't not his numbers is probably nowhere near without me even knowing at the top of my head i can imagine this somewhere around uh 19 i'm gonna be nice and i'm gonna say 19 points five rebounds six seven assists Maybe I don't know. By the way, them not even them not MVP numbers, them not MVP numbers. Maybe coach of the year. Maybe that team is a coach of the year. You know what I'm saying? I, maybe I would say that. Maybe I would say Tibbs is coach of the year, and Jalen Brunson 
I mean, obviously he held, he's a big part of that, but not to the level of an MVP. I don't know what he's talking about. He's doing that New York shit. Wait, let me get let me that get in that there. there. This well, kid that, is great. And I'm yeah, jealous that the, the Knicks have him. He's good. I'm jealous the Knicks have him. He's good. Um, so the Nets, by the way, Kevin Durant, Durant is back in the MVP the discussion. discussion. They don't yeah, but, but you don't you trust, trust the Nets, Nets do you? No. You, you don't no, trust them. No, no, trust them? No. No. Nobody trusts the Nets. More belief. Well, the question is more belief in Nets or Knicks. That's the question. And and when you look at the two teams between the Nets and the Knicks, obviously the Nets are the more believable team. <laughs> What, what are we talking about? Nets win the championship. We talking about Jalen. Man, eh. now Steve Nash is questionable over there, but I will say that okay, what what Steve Nash lacks in coaching, he has it in talent on the roster, as opposed to where Tibbs is the better coach, but the, he don't have the roster. Shift if the Nets. He relying on a bunch of man, quick plan. Win two games in the playoffs, they'll get the parade. Championship. Not the Nets. They'll get the parade. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's been my 10 cents, though. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.